Let's talk about that one discovery that surprised me the most about video content planning during the past six years of my video marketing career. So without further ado, let's wrap this story up. This surprising realization is about a very specific platform and that is YouTube itself. It can be used in other platforms if utilized properly, but to make you understand my point, I have to start it in the past. The realization happened sometime in 2021, the year we started our first startup company we called Vlogon at the time. Unfortunately, it never really took off and it ended up in a fail at the end, but that's another story on its own, maybe for a different video. My point is that I have invested a fair bit of money in education within the broad subject of marketing over time. A little over 10,000 British pounds to be specific. As you can imagine, I've had a lot of awakenings during these times, but this YouTube specific discovery or detail has stood the most out of me until this day. I've started learning about marketing back in 2015, which is nearly over a decade from now, on my own, using all I had at the time, a half-broken laptop with a similarly broken English, being a foreigner living in the UK, using some cheap and slow mobile internet connection. As you can probably guess by now, I've ended up learning a lot from YouTube. I considered myself as a self-learner from day one. Fast forward until today, and it turned out to be one of the most accurate things that I have ever realized about myself. But this is not the specific detail that this video is about. In fact, my actual realization that surprised me the most about video content marketing can be read out from the following phrase that somehow I managed to come up with during my apprenticeship. People are not going to YouTube to learn things. They are going to YouTube to learn about things. Why do I think that this is one of the biggest realization of my career and what it even means for businesses trying to raise awareness with personal branding? To make this easily digestible for all of us here, I invite you to a little game of imagination. Let's imagine for now that you've learned about black holes, something in the subject by viewing 20 independent YouTube videos that made you excited about the subject in some way. Let's call this scenario example Y as the YouTube example for now. Okay, now turn this table around and imagine you've been influenced by something to do the same thing in the past. It could be a YouTube video or an article you've read somewhere or anything. The point is that Influence has made you invest in years of learning from multiple sources about the same subject using different ways and methods. You are not a professor or a scientist of any kind, just a heavily influenced self-learner. So let's call this scenario S coming from self-learning. Now answer this question for yourself. In which case you'll be more confident to talk about the effects of black holes in our universe with, let's say, Neil Tyson, the inventor of Star Talk TV show, who probably has unmeasurably more knowledge about the same subject compared to both of your imaginary states. In example Y or perhaps in example S? See, in example Y, we've only been learning about black holes and not really mastered any usable knowledge in the subject where in example S, we probably have found our own ways through practice and self-motivated efforts to gather a piece of usable knowledge of some sort. None of these examples are right or wrong, they are just used for different purposes. How does this translate into self-branding and video marketing? Well, I believe that we can achieve way more when planning our future video content if we stop teaching on platforms that are not designed for people to learn and start planning videos that are telling about things that are important to know about. And hopefully it will result in more satisfied viewers on our original content at the end. Would you be able to use this methodology in all of your upcoming videos after watching this single video in the subject? Probably not, but it is still worth hearing about things that can help us in some way because at least it has a chance to have a positive influence on our individual selves. 
If you want to learn more about how I suggest planning a video like this for your own self-branding development, hop over to my LinkedIn account for free to use DIY video blueprint ideas. That's it for now and see you in the next one.